Okay. Here we go, guys. So, um, I'm going to repaint the S on my Selmer Paris Octave Lever, Series 3. Um, I had already gobbed on the paint. I've let it dry. So now, I'm going to show you the rest of the process. And just use some uh, nail enamel. Lacquer works really well, too. I prefer uh, the lacquer, but the enamel will work fine. It just gets a little a little splotchy sometimes. Um, it, it sometimes doesn't stick very well to the, um, the interior spots. And you just have to either touch it up or just redo it from the beginning. So I'm going to try to do this one shot and uh, see if I can get it done in one shot. Okay, it's a pretty similar blue that the Selmer uses uh, on them. Any color's fine, I've done red and black. Uh, I also did the octave lever on my Cannonball Alto Sax. Uh, did that in red also. Uh, so here we go. Got my... Oh, dark hair. Got my rolled up t-shirt okay and acetone and again proceed with caution if your instrument has lacquer on it or if it's an older like a vintage Selmer just uh be careful um I haven't had any issues with acetone removing the lacquer on uh newer instruments um but it might be different for the uh the older vintage lacquer okay so Proceed with caution. I don't guarantee that this will not remove lacquer. Did I say that right? I do not guarantee that your lacquer will not, will not be damaged by using this. Okay? I have had no issues. Um, also, my saxophone is unlacquered. But again, I've used uh, acetone on newer instruments. And it does not remove the lacquer. Unless you let it sit on there for a while, you're not going to have any issues um, with the lacquer bubbling up or uh, being removed. From my experience. Again, proceed with caution. Here we go. So, just take... Oh, a little too much. If you put a little bit too much, just let it dry. Just real quick. All right, so here we go. So now I'm going to try to clean the edges of the area around first. So you see what's happening there. Just the areas around. Okay. Try not to. It might get into the interior area. But it's really not my focus. Just trying to clean up the outside as best as I can without getting the inside too much. Okay. All right. So the acetone is probably already a little dry. So blue paint. Flip it over. Add some more acetone. Okay. Go back and finish. Just worry about the outside edges first. Okay. So I think that's pretty good. It's coming out really good. Alright, now I'm just going to swipe down over the top a few times without applying too much pressure. Less and less pressure. Then you can spot the areas a little bit, right? Like right there, I'm going to try on the front. Oh, now I need some more. Acetone's a little dry, so I'll go again. Get some more acetone on a clean spot. Okay. And again, if you pour a little too much acetone on the rag, just let it sit a little bit so it gets so it's just damp. All right, here we go. And I'm not applying.
applying too much pressure. And that looks pretty damn good, man. Much better than I had done earlier. There might be like a little fleck in there that just didn't get covered, but pretty good. I'll go over it one more time around the edges. If there's any blue paint or any whatever color paint you use just around it that you want to get rid of, just kind of wipe it clean. There you go. I succeeded. I'm not going to do that again. All right, guys. So that's how I did it. Pretty good. Well, again, thanks for having interest in this, guys, on the Selmer uh, Facebook group. Uh, that's it. Bye.